Anyhow, welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with a haul video. So we actually went shopping in person for like yes. the long, for the first time in forever. Take it away, Anna. If some of you follow us on Instagram, you'll probably know that we just had a wedding anniversary and we saw the musical Six, which was incredible. Highly recommend. Yes, on tour now. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> but no, Six is the story, if you're not familiar with it, of Henry VIII, Six Wives. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. Who's your favorite wife? Oh wait, you love the... I like the one that was like 13. <laughs> Anna, uh, uh, she's supposed to be a mix of Britney and Ariana mm -hmm. Grande. Who do you like? Anne Boleyn. Because mm -hmm. her but sleeves may be green, but her lipstick's red. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, we decided to go shopping. Through. Since we were in downtown Chicago, we took advantage and went to the Primark, which was awesome. Uh, we also did a tour on our TikTok, so we will... Link that down below. Be sure to follow us there. We don't like really like the congestion around that area, so we didn't really stay in Chicago long. Well, there's not a lot down, you know, it's interesting, the downtown loop area, there's like the Disney store's gone. Yeah. Like there's a We so went to Target, but then we decided to go to Norwich where they have an awesome mall now that has a box launch. And a hot topic. topic. And another Target! And Five Below. So yeah, we'll just show you. We'll start off with the Primark stuff. A lot of this will probably end up going in a future giveaway. We just thought like there was cute items and we don't get down there a lot. Well, and also Primark one of those stores that like their merchandise feels like it rotates so yeah, quickly that like nothing's... Quickly. It's, it's so current that, like, they're never going to repeat stuff. So, like, if there's something good, you should always just get it. Yeah. I think. So, like, I thought this was adorable. It's not like we needed this, but I thought it was so cute. It's Winnie the Pooh's face. And this is a wood plate, it says. So, like, Chakuchi. You could pretty much put anything there. You could put it in the bathroom to hold, like, cosmetics and toiletries. You could use it as a valet tray. Like, do you remember the one that we had by our front door that was, like, if we wanted to put, like, our keys and, like, wall yeah. and stuff? Like, that, you know what I mean? Like, that's what mm. this is. You could. I think we've grown up past No, we that. have, but, like, <laughs> I'm saying if, so, like, you could use Well, it I think that. we're going to keep this. Oh, we are? I don't know. If this is something you guys want to see in the giveaway, let us know. But I like it. It's cute. Something else for future giveaway was this awesome, like, swell, like, Pixar, or Toy Story water bottle. Mm -hmm. And... You know, it's good to use reusable water bottles. So here it is, the classic Toy Story logo, the blue clouds. What I like about this is if you didn't know it was Toy Story and you didn't see that logo, you just think it was clouds. Probably metal, aluminum. Awesome. And then this item, we probably would have kept it for ourselves if it was Stitch and that angel on there. But, like, you can't go wrong with stainless steel straws, especially if you're in Disney and you have those gross paper ones. But this is Angel, and every one, she's giving, like, a different pose and face. But, like, love some metal straws. And this is something interesting that Tim found by the jewelry that I thought was really interesting because it's $5. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that these are official trading pin park pins. You, like, you couldn't use these to trade in the parks, I don't think, because they don't, don't, they're not lounge fly or... Official Disney, but they are cute for your flared pin board. So there's a Mickey Mouse one, another Mickey head. Mickey, the little hands, and then Minnie, Mickey running. And then you can see the gold pin backs. But for $5, like a fun little booster pin pack for a giveaway, super fun. All right, and then at Primark, we did buy, well, I bought some clothing items. Not going to bore you with that. It has nothing to do with Disney. Their sizing for sweatshirts is really bad. Because they, like, base them off of women's sizes. And every time I bought something, because, like, last time we went, it was, like, pandemic where fittingers were closed. So, like, I got some and they were, like, they're not meant for tall people. Like, I had to uh, end up returning them. So we don't 
usually get the Disney clothing there. But you got to try on like the regular clothes this time, so like, yeah. you know it fits. Ah. Yeah, the clothes are fine, but it has nothing to do with Disney, so... Fun behind the scenes fact, when Tim was in the dressing room and I got bored shopping, I just responded to comments. That's what I... we respond to comments. <laughs> So, and then afterwards we went to Target and we hit the jackpot on an item. So, if you have been following our channel along, you probably noticed we've been doing some shorts up on YouTube because a lot of you don't have TikTok and you like just watching that and we like doing it. So, there was a whole box full of these new Princess Figural bag clips. And this one is super cool. It's interesting that they didn't just do all posters. Right! Because, like, that's what people want. So they did, like, posters and characters. And I ordered a bunch off of Box Lunch before, like, I found them at Target's. And, like, they were, I, you could feel when they're posters and when they're not. And, like, I would always get the characters. And I pulled the only character that I would want out of the series, which is the exclusive A, um, which is... Jasmine's dad, the Sultan. Oh! So, yeah, we were able to make sure that these are posters because we only have one poster at the moment and it is this um, Snow White one. So that'll be fun. We're actually going to do this in a video. See, the funny thing, when we were at Target, I, call, I was like, Tim, it's interesting that you want to feel for these, but you don't want to feel for other things. Well, when Tim's I don't feeling, like... <laughs> it, it turns on and off. It's, it's arbitrary now, if you've been watching for a while. <laughs> well, I mean, why would I buy a character that I don't want when we already have, like, six that we haven't opened yet? This no. is, what is this? This is Dorables. Yeah, they had a bunch of Dorables, too. Um, we don't normally look for codes, but there's only four we need left, and they're all the ultra rares. So we got some little ones um, of this, you could show. So they have, like, ones that have just two in them, and then ones that have either five, six, or seven. So be sure to follow us on TikTok and our channel and subscribe so you see future shorts or videos of these. And after that, we went to, of course, like we said, the Norwich Mall, and we stopped at Hot Topic. They didn't have a lot of stuff, like, in the store. They had more online that we were interested in. They did have <gasps> a couple of pin boxes. This one we weren't going to do, but... Well, we could show this one first. This one's way cuter than the other ones. Yeah. So I thought it's not as bad as these. some of them. So we have eight boxes of these, which will be in a future video. I really, because this is my favorite princess, and there's not enough of my favorite princess love on this channel. It's always about Aurora, never about Ariel. Yeah, right. You could clearly see this one is in full vision at all times, and I'm always blocking mine. All right, and then next, we weren't going to get these. These never made it online, I don't think. Um, but when I saw them in store, they were really cute. Especially the Tangled one. Yeah. It's better than the fries. I finally saw the fries in person. <laughs> Those are, like, so old. I know, but still. But, like, these ones are, like, themed nicely. Like, you, the bell, you could tell that's the gray stuff. And they, like, kind of did their hair for the cupcake frosting. So we have a couple boxes of these. I don't know if we have enough for a video. Um, let us know if you want to see this in a video or you think it would just be like easier as like a short or TikTok. All right, and then this is a series that I'm really happy about, except there's no owl. You know. We just opened these on our shorts today and Comment below if you know what we got. But here are all of them. They're so cute. They're like cute little chibi, like plushy versions of the friends of Winnie the Pooh. Yes, Tim and I started doing, getting more Pooh merchandise and like characters lately. And it's like, the thing about Winnie the Pooh is a collection that I find interesting is when they choose to like choose certain people. You know yeah, what I mean? Like Those are supposed to be babies. But like, sometimes like Owl's there, sometimes he isn't. Rue's, Kanga and Rue sometimes. Like, it's really interesting when they pick and choose, but like Pooh obviously is always there, like mm -hmm. Eeyore. And 
And you know what that is, friends? That's the Doppler effect. <laughs> if you remember physics. <laughs> yeah. So and then of course we went to box lunch and we were in there and this woman like was like looking at us and we were like, hi. And she's like, oh my god, I watch your guys' channel. <laughs> and she's like, when you were in here before, was it working? Because we did that one video of like the opening of that uh -huh. one. But so that was so nice. So hi. Yes, and <laughs> as a reminder, if you ever see Tim and I or one of us out in a boot, uh, always stop and say hi. We always love getting to connect with you in real life because it's we have no idea. Like super fun. <laughs> yeah, it's so random. Like especially like being in Illinois, like most of the people that watch our channel like maybe are more like I don't know. Closer you thought would be like on the coasts. Oh. East, Cause like the Disney. Ah, that makes sense. But yeah, who knows? Comment down below where you're from. <laughs> All right, so they, I bought this. I don't know why I keep buying these shirts. They don't fit good, but they're so cute. So I ended up getting the cake worthy Moana shirt. So like the thing about this is you have to size up, especially if you're a guy. And when you size up, it's like, I don't know. Boxier? It makes me look really boxy. So I don't know. Like, I always try to shrink them and it doesn't work. And then Tim always says he's going to make ears. He, yeah. He's only done it once. I'm going to make ears with the one that doesn't fit me anymore. But anyways, this is Moana. I might try to make a bound for this shirt when we go to Disney in July. But it's so cute, you never see Maui. And I just love Hey Hey and Moana. It's definitely one of our favorite movies. And this color on the collar is everything. All right, and then we were looking at their Funko Pop wall. There wasn't really much. Um, yeah, most of the stuff again is online. But we found something, it's not Disney, but it fits in well with our music tastes and our Funkos that we have of music. Like this one is iconic. Oh, I love this one. This is the incomparable Whitney Houston R.I.P. And this is from How Will I Know, right? Mm -hmm. And I love her with her, like it's so classic 80s. And what's cool is I never noticed this, there's a QR code back here, so click that if you want to pause and use your camera phone. The thing is, we were just watching that new show with, um, what's her name from Kimmy Schmidt? Oh, uh, she's from 30 Rock. Yeah. Uh, Jane Kr Krenzowski? Yes. And How Will I Know was one of them, like, you have to guess, like, what song it is based on some of like the notes and stuff and I got it right away and the person didn't get it. Whitney. Oh, so good. Her music are still bops. Look at that pop. Come through! And it says, fun fact, How Will I Know is certified double platinum and peaked number one on US and Canada charts. The more you know. <laughs> bum 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 bum. Alright, and then this Funko Pop, I got it the day it came out so this was an online purchase. But I had to get it. It was spring. Thumper's cute. He's the only one we didn't have. Um, so we have Flower and Bambi. And then, like, back then, the Thumper that they made was so hard to get. So expensive. So, like, when they made this one, I was like, yes, jumping on top of it. But, like, this is the back. So sad. Mm. And then it's a box lunch exclusive. But when you open it, look how cute he is with his little feet out, his little bunny ears, bunny. little cotton tail. And John loves bunnies, so like I knew we had to get this. It's gonna look so cute with all three of them together. We've been like on a kick of getting things for TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, oh, we did. We all of this was hot cash box lunch money, so it was fifty percent. And also, Tim and I do have our Christmas figure old keychain tree, which is growing every year. But these are from Monsters at Work, and I have mixed feelings about Monsters at Work. It was fine, but then here are all of the options we can get, and I really want the Celia and her. And then there's this variant Mike and Sally, which we don't need because we have yeah. so many of those. So we didn't get to feel this because this was sent to us online, so 
Hopefully, like, we get, like, Mike and Sully or Celia. So be sure to be on the lookout for those. And then, like I said, we had a bunch of the princess ones that they sent us. Most of these are characters. So that will be its own video because we have literally so many. Because I was trying to get the posters. I'm like, I want all the posters. I don't think I got anything at Box Watch. No, we never do. Well, there wasn't anything I liked. <laughs> yeah, there was. He just doesn't... See, like me, I'm like, okay, I know it's not going to be there forever. So I'm like, if I like something, I'm like, I'm going to get it. Especially if it's 50% off. So these <laughs> um, are some lounge pants, which I love wearing in the spring and summer. If it ever gets warmer. <laughs> Chicago is such weird weather. But this is Belle. I love the vibrant blue. And these are so soft. So you have Belle there. And then a few roses. Her face looks kind of wonky, but from far away it looks cute. And I did want pit. I did like pits. Yeah, that you, was. See, you I found do. Some pins. And in terms of clothing, like I, this what as Tim was saying, this weather is like so transitional. I'm gonna need new stuff for our July trip anyway. That I just was like, it's oh wait, mm -hmm. I don't know. So I found these two pins. Um, outside of our other pins, which is amazing because we didn't have any of these. We only have like the Fab Five ones, but I wanted more. So these were on sale for, they're originally $16. They're on sale for $7.99 and box lunch money did work with these. So like that's a steal. These are the Funko Pop pins. So you have Sully there and then we had to get Mike with it. We might need a bigger monsters board. Oh. And then it also comes with Boo and Roz, but these are the ones we found. So yeah, John did find some pins. And then comes the game of what do we have this pin? I am thrilled right now that it is a anniversary year. Anniversary years are great because they always release a lot of merchandise from the movie that year. And so we are having an anniversary for Hercules. Mm -hmm. And so we got, I saw these two and were surprised that we didn't have them. Tim said that he tried to order them at one point online, but they weren't there. They sent, said they sent them and like I was checking shipping and like it never came. And I'm like, but we weren't charged. We were, and then it like was like, you have a refund from Box Lunch, and I was like, I never even like asked for it. It was weird. So they like, I don't know, there was something went wrong, and they they figured it out, and they're on first, and they gave us a refund. So. And then we use that money to buy them again. <laughs> but these so are cheaper because that was not during Box Lunch money. Oh, so this is Pegasus, and Baby Pegasus is a definite one of our favorite characters. And definitely love the Hercules Pegasus versus the other version of him in uh, Phantasmic. And then this is a cute double pin set, and I love the. This was fourteen ninety, and you got the uh, sandal and the sippy cup. Uh, and as you know from Hades, that they are wearing his merchandise. Yeah, I love those. We just created our own Hercules board that looks amazing. When we say we. It's <laughs> So let us know if you guys want collection tours. We could do plenty of them. Like we're gonna do Vlogmas again this year, so we probably won't be in a lot of box swaps, but I mean, we could do videos like that. All right, and then the pins that I found are amazing. Indeed. So these two that I'm gonna show, I actually bought online. So the first, also Hercules in like the star constellations and then of course you knew we had to get this new Baymax pin surrounded in cherry blossoms he looks adorable and then these two I kind of like I like so <laughs> this is a Tiana chibi pin we opened this like in a mystery box, but she wasn't part of it, so she'll go perfect. And then this one is just so cute of Thumper, which we have the Funko, so I was like, might as well get the pin because it's springy and John likes bunnies. And this is like a little bit see-through. All right, and then our mystery pin 
box dump. <laughs> so we ordered these ones online because we were afraid they were going to sell out, and they did. So we have 10 boxes of these, so this will be a future video. Oh, I remember these. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to open these. And then we have some random ones. <laughs> so I just wanted to, like, get these half off, basically, because we were there. So we opened up two of these series already, and then one of them, like, I had to meet the number, which is why we got them. So this is the one-off one where, like, I had to meet the number. So we opened these before on our TikTok. So we basically, this one we just need... Oliver, so hopefully that's him. We opened these up recently on our channel, so these are the Potted Plant Princess ones. Spoiler alert, we did not get them all, so I was hoping these are going to be Ariel and Tiana. So we have two of those. This one is random. I haven't seen these, but they are, we have two of these, like, kind of ice cream of random characters and Hercules is on there which I thought was cool so hopefully we get Hercules and Cruella but we're gonna open up these two because why not we just posted this video and I forgot what we did I just said Tiana um, and Ariel. Ariel okay I really want Ariel and Tiana mm -hmm. okay Probably gonna be another. Um, who was the life friend in that video? Cinderella. Yeah, this is uh, the Pocahontas one. It's pretty. Yeah. It's not Merida. Oh, uh, these are both ones we had, but these are awesome. They're the prettier trailers. ones. Yeah, and you don't see many. They leave out Mulan and Pocahontas a lot in the mystery pin stuff. So these are awesome. If you want to trade, uh, let us know. Our emails and Instagram are down below. Oh, I love them unboxing. <laughs> That's fun. I got, like, right. it's it's literally like the equivalent of like going to a slot machine and being like $5. <laughs> we, we got so many things that we could do for videos, which is the point, usually. All right. But we also like this stuff, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. we always would have bought it anyways. Yeah. All right, and then we had our friends Lauren and Gwen pick up some things from the parks for us. We are obsessed with puzzle pins, as you know. So we have eight boxes of these. We're actually going to film this next. <laughs> uh, this Part of the reason why I want these is because of the chases. The chases are going to be everything. So cute. But yay, these are the uh, Emperor's Degree. And it? then um, we're doing a monthly pin that we love the series so much. I, I don't know if this one's considered broken or if he's supposed to come on and off like this. But we have this um, I looked at the back. The The other one does it. So I think it's just, it, we just might need to like secure it. Yeah, or something. like, you know what? When it's on the pin board, it might stay better. But this True. is the... Uh, transformation series. This is the Hades version, and he's transforming from his blue uh, version to the really fiery hot, which is interesting because like blue hot is actually normally hotter than like that hot, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But what Tim was saying is that on this, there's this pin on pin, but there's this like little panic or pain, whichever one's which. But like the back, what I was, why I think it's broken is if you lift up the backing card, you can kind of see that like there are these little metal grommets on the one side and then this side doesn't have it. So it's like they almost fell off. You could also get like a little soldering uh, thing and just solder it on yourself. I used to, I have, I think I have a soldering gun still. But yeah, easy fix. Or, you know what I also have is I have that like metal glue that you can use, the one that I used to, like when we really break pin backs. <laughs> Yeah, and then the last pin, I was looking for this forever, and he, they, his current trip, we didn't, he didn't find them. If you missed that haul, we will link it above, but we love this pin style where they do all the families. 
They don't usually have the main characters on this, just the underrated ones. I love this side because you have the hyenas and Scar, which you never see. And like, that's just a beautiful background. Yeah, these are so pretty. Yeah, they did like a Robin Hood one, but blue. Um, all right, and then I, a while ago, like placed an order on Shop Disney because Nobody could find these ears anywhere, and they popped up on oh. Disney, and like, we don't have any green ears. We have, like, actually, no, I, that, those are, like, dark. We have, like, an emerald color, but we don't have anything in this, like, actual, like, yeah. cerulean, which is, like, one of my favorite greens. Oh. What? They look so pretty online, but I didn't know the sequins were like this. Like I mean, the they're, they're cute, but, like, they could get a little messy, but... I love that color. They're, it's so cute. It's like Princess and the Frog green. So I think these are called like Curse and something, but they were St. Patrick's Day ears apparently because they pulled them like right after. And like Lauren and Gwed were like, I don't know what they did with them. They said they would probably end up at the character warehouse, but they ended up back on Shop Disney. So this bow is beautiful, but we're gonna sans the bow. So it'll just look like that. It actually looks really, really cool on camera with these sequins this way. So pretty. <laughs> I see what you mean though. Yeah. Like it kind of looks weird. It yeah. kind of looks like, you know those pillows that, the sequin A mermaid pillows, sequin, yeah. yeah. But, but it's, not... but it's, it's, it's a, I would say it looks cheaper than other sequin ears, but. But it looks great online. And, 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 and you know what, from far away, it's like a Monet. From Clueless. <laughs> From far away, it's a big ol' uh, it looks great, but when you get up close, it's a big ol' mess. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then um, to kind of make it worth it, I worth it. bought more things for free shipping. Ah! <laughs> so they were having a sale on ornaments, too. Did I know you got this stuff? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I knew about the ears, but when you said ornaments, I said, huh? <laughs> Wait, what ornaments did you get? This is a surprise! Uh, they were having a um, buy two, or buy an ornament at $20, get one. 50% off? For like 10? $15 off or something. Oh, so like $5. So it's almost like a BOGO. Yeah. Alright, question before I open this. Is this from last season and we didn't get it? Or is this older than last season? Um... I don't know, I'm gonna find out soon. Newer? One is from the ones that we looked at. Oh. He, he hates that look, but I love that look. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I don't know why you hate that look. I it's so cute and it has scuttle on it. <laughs> it's so, thank oh. you. Does that not sing? I thought it did. Oh. These are cute! <laughs> well, I mean, they were super cheap, so it's fine. They were like $10 a piece of that. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> so, this is what Tim was saying. This is, uh, she is my favorite princess. I was literally just talking about her. And look, I love Friends. There's Flounder. There's a really cool Sabat. And they're to scale. And Scuttle. And then there's Ariel looking with her, like, new legs. Here's why I don't love this look. It's not a great dress. <laughs> I love that look. It's, but it's, it's so, so ill-fitting! It's so unique, though. Like, it's like the whole, like, comedic part of a movie. <laughs> Jokes! <laughs> and then, oh my god, I thought this one sang, but it doesn't. We thought it was, like, the tangled one. But it's cute. It is cute. So you have Pocahontas, and Miko's in there looking adorable, and then you have Flit there. And then, like, all of the bubbles from the water look super cool. So, I mean, I still like this. Yeah. And it's lighter than like a lot of the other ones, yeah. which is nice. And I didn't even realize that the base, I like the base on this kind of like theatrical because it looks like little mm -hmm. seashells. Like it's cute. I, love I like, one. I just, out of all of Ariel's looks, this is my least favorite Ariel look. And I'm including fish. <laughs> hater. No, I, He's been drinking some haterade. No, but like, why would you want to be in an ill-fitting like, what is it, a sail? It's, it's a sail. She's wearing a sail. 
with rope tied around it. Well, Eric didn't mind. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. He's like, oh, you could come to my house. No, he only He's gonna freak out. Am I? It's something that I said I would never, ever buy. But you already bought the main. The, there was the seeing red, the turning red Funko. There was something that I saw from a movie we love that you never see. So I was like, I'll get it. It made the shipping worth it and everything. So probably close your eyes. He's gonna be like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a plush with Bunny. Judy Hops? Judia! Numios? It's a Numio? <laughs> it's like the only one I'm gonna buy, but like they don't have anything of Judy Hops, so I was like, that's so cute. And with the wishable like thing, like being as it is, we have a Numio in our house. We do. I don't know how I feel. I did. But it's Easter Bunny. Bunnies, you like bunnies. I do like bunny, but it's a okay, it's a Numio. Oh shut up. I'm not gonna like dress it. But now I want to put it in. No, <laughs> no uh, it's cute. I actually really and actually the one thing I, did, I didn't know about Numio is I've never picked one up because I've like not wanted to. But like they're like bendy, so you can like sit them and like sculpt them. That's cute. Oh, I like this. Uh, the other thing I'll show that Tim got that what I was originally saying was he got this six-inch turning red pop of May May. Yeah, which is a Funko.com exclusive, and it's flocked. May May? Yeah, I didn't know they, like, sculpted it either. But, like, how cute is she? It, she's much cuter than I thought. They I had just... a Nick Wilde, too. I was thinking about it, but I was like... N that would be two new Mios in our home. But, I mean, we're probably going to get rid of most of our Wishable collection, because we're mm. going to boycott them. Because if you don't know, if you don't follow my Instagram, I talked about it a lot, we... Don't think it's worth it because they are currently fourteen ninety nine for one blind bag and open edition. They went up to sixteen ninety nine. Seventeen dollars for a wish one and blind bag mystery. wishable. And Shop Disney likes to send you the same one so you get duplicates constantly. We're like, no. Unless they do an all prints series, we're completely done. Or like if they have them on sale or at the character warehouse, which they're gonna go to because who's Disney, gonna pay seventeen dollars? Nobody was buying them at fourteen ninety nine. Because they were, when we started opening wishables, they were at ten nine ninety nine. So that means in three years they've gone up eight dollars. They in two years. Two years they've almost doubled yeah. their price. It's ridiculous. Disney's getting so greedy. I know, and it makes me sad. You're they're pricing themselves out. Yeah. And without outlets closed, like, it's really hard. I know. Like, we don't have any stores around us, so it's like, I don't know. But we do have one final Wishable video that we'll probably upload within the next couple months. <laughs> and that'll be our last one, like I said, unless there's, like, a mega sale. But the, the next one's coming out, so May is obviously Star Wars. Food. For May the 4th. Don't want... June is apparently Dumbo, Boo. which don't want. So, and then I heard a rumor that they're going to stop after Dumbo, but I don't know. So why would they raise prices for just two series? I don't know. I, as someone... Because they're never going to be around again, so people... I don't know. But like, I don't know if that's true, though, because a lot of those Facebook groups that I look in, like, people's comments aren't always true. And also comment below if you know more about this than we do about how they phased out Tsum Tsums and, what was the other, you Foofies. And if that was interesting, because, like, it would be the same pattern. Or Vinylmation. Yes, or other things. Or comment below if there are other products and, like, lines of, like, things that they came out with that are no longer around. Because mm -hmm. those are great three examples. Tsum Tsums, Yufufis, and Vinylmations. Very true. Yeah, so that is our haul. You'll have to let us know what your favorite item is down below. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Yes, and if you're not a subscriber and enjoy Disney game, pop culture, and lifestyle related content, be sure to hit the subscribe button so be notified of our future videos. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you also all for commenting, letting us know about Tim's birthday video, letting us have a conversation about stuff like this, because one of the best things that Tim and I love is just getting to sit down and talk Disney with y'all. So it has been awesome. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.
Bye. Bye.